how to trade forex during a minor trend line break. Uh, this strategy is a conservative retracement. Like I said earlier in my previous videos, there are no other traders that love trend line more than price action traders. Trend lines are practical tools for identifying and trading trends. It makes sense to build trading strategies with a simple but useful tool. Many traders who seem to trade with a blank chart, naked chart, have actually imbibed the art of trend line drawing. They have mastered the art of drawing trend line effectively. Trend lines are very good in tracking trends. They are used for trading the trends in terms of retracement or reversals. That means trend lines help traders to determine either if a trend will continue or reverse. A minor trend line break is a breakout away from a trend line that goes against the major trend line. That means uh, when we are looking at a strategy that is built around a minor trend line break, then we should have two trend lines. One trend line will be for a major trend. Now look at what we have here. You can see this chart. We come here, this is the current phase of the market. So we pick a trend line. Um, this, uh, let's draw this. This is the trend line. We join a point here to the low, to the swing low here. Another one here. So we have a bullish trend line. So it means the major trend in the market is uh, bullish. Now we have another fall here, which is a retracement of the major trend. So we put a trend line on that also. Now you can see this is uh, now look at this trend line. This is a bullish trend line suggesting an uh, uptrend supporting an uptrend move. This is a bearish trend line which is supporting a downtrend move. Now you can see that uh, the downtrend could not make it to uh, the, the, lower, the lowest level of the uptrend. So the second trend line here is called a minor trend line or a weak trend line which respect to this trend line okay now if a trader wants to use this strategy all you have to wait for is the break out or away from this trend line and then you buy because it's a bullish setup now if it is bearish setup we are going to sell but in this scenario we have a bullish setup so we definitely have to work we have to buy this pair. So we just buy the break of this point. So how do we buy here now? Uh, we look at the point. Let me just try and explain something here. We bring this vertical line to this this uh, this bar that strikes uh, the that strikes the the minor trend line. Then we pick up horizontal line here. Yes, we join it together here, the meeting point. So this is the meeting point of the vertical and the minor trend line. So the price is 1.391. So the moment market cuts through this point, that means it has broken the trend line. So what we do, we buy, and then that means we are joining this uh, major trend, which is being uh, signified by the major trend line right now the break of the minor trend line ushers us into the trade in the direction of the major trend line you can see that the moment this minor trend line breaks here you know we we immediately know that we have entered into another trade which is a long trade which is 
to buy to buy this pair now when we buy here that is in agreement with this major trend okay so the break is the beautiful trigger to the strong side of the market the 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 the, the, the direction of the major trend is the strong side of the market while the direction of the minor trend is the weak side of the market so when we sell the break of the minor trend line then we are moving we are going in the same direction as the strong uh, 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 as the majority in the market now a trend line is said to be broken when a, par a price cuts through it that's aggressive approach and the price can do also closes beyond it that is conservative. The conservative trader will wait for a candle, a bar, to close beyond the trend line before he places a trade. But an aggressive trader will place his trade immediately the price cuts through the trend line. Now, waiting for a price bar to close to confirm the trend line break works well. That is fantastic. But there is a drawback. When we are in a volatile market, in, when we are in volatile markets, we might not be able to enter before the trend pushes to a new extreme, pushes to a greater you know, extent. So we may not be able to enter such trade. Alright? So this particular strategy we are talking about is conservative in nature because it requires a minor trend line to form against the current trend for that to happen. So a, a more complex retreatment must be present at least. Okay? So, uh, when you are using this trend line, I mean this strategy to, to, to place your trade, of course, you are using a conservative strategy, a conservative method, because this is the current trend in the market, the prevailing trend in the market, and then when we have this, which is actually a retracement, if you can place our Fibonacci tools, you see that we find that the counter trend or the minor trend is exactly on a reasonable retracement level. I'm not surprised. That is the nature of the market. Now you can see that the 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 the, the, the bearish retracement got to people. Uh, uh, 50% and then from there the trend is resumed. Can you see that? So that's how it works. So this is conservative in nature. Anytime you are considering an important uh, retracement level, then definitely that is conservative trading. Uh, I thank you so much for your time for following my videos and I like you to please stay around again and watch more of my videos subscribe like and make comments and if there is any area of suggestion please uh, do uh, suggest constructively and I appreciate your time see you next time bye